let's talk hunting monsters it's a good day for it every day is a good day for hunting monsters something you should be doing once a day at least and preferably twice a day now what about what is all this about let's take it from a completely new perspective okay um over up here at the top you see these lightning bolt points over here it's energy and that is what you use for hunting monsters now, what do you get from monsters? You get rewards from monsters. You also get guild gifts, and you create guild gifts by killing monsters. So this is the team effort. These, obviously, the bonus chests are from buying packs. We'll ignore those, <laughs> because we're talking free-to-play here. Okay, we can have a look here. Bunch of gifts. Now, when you're just starting out, you have to open these one by one like that um but once you reach a certain vip level you can just press the auto open button at the top there and you can see there we've got a bunch of stuff and some of it's useful and some of it's less useful and some of it's more useful and we do love gems don't we and in fact this is one of your top sources of free gems and speeds and materials queen bee venom for example is a very very nice thing to have for your gear these buzzing husks are pretty common but you need them i mean um at a point you need them eight hour shields yeah yeah uh we did also uh, get summoning gifts from our and uh, slayer loot from our um guild bash but ordinarily you wouldn't see those you just see the monster chests there they are free speeds free speeds free speeds and you know you're getting in a good guild you're getting close to 300 if not more than that um a day of these guild gifts and they make a huge difference to your account because it's every day. So you're clearing gifts once a day at least. That I cleared now was probably uh, about 12 hours. I didn't check. Okay, and you can't just take gifts. You've got to also make sure that there are gifts coming in. And you are also going to get stuff in the process. So let's find the monster. These level 4 monsters are very hard to kill. Level 5 monsters I've never hunted um, just because they are, phew, uh, they would need a lot of energy. You would have to top up your energy a lot. Um, so for this account, which is a little account, we're looking for a level one or a level two monster. Um, so maybe at a push a level three, but then she's going to be opening energy. So here we have a monster, and it's a level two monster, and it's a queen bee. Now let's click the information button there. This monster is going to attack us with magic. So we're going to use a physical attack to beat it and um, these are the heroes you need uh, there this is your most important monster hunting hero set if you use other heroes on your monster you're going to do less damage so that is a very important monster hunting set that you're going to use on probably more than half of the monsters that appear on the map um the other thing of course is your monster hunt gear used to be strictly pay to play but you can get the materials for this in your guild fest rewards and um gradually start getting free to play monster hunt gear together this one has got not very good monster hunt gear but it, she's got monster hunt gear so that's quite nice um and she would attack then and in this attack, she could expect to get, these are sort of the top prizes you're going to get off it. There's all sorts of booby prizes of resources and what have you. But I mean, yeah, if you can get a green queen bee venom, that's very nice. They're very rare. But you might get it. It's a gamble every time. Gems, of course, we all love. Speeds, we all love. You're not necessarily going to get these things. It's, it's, a, it's a gamble. So you're throwing the dice with your attack. Let's get those heroes up again. I'm missing one. Who am I missing? Oh, um trickster there we go there's my monster hunting set up let's kill this monster okay so that was a magical monster and you attack it with physical heroes and we just looked at that hero set there are also saber fangs currently on the map here's a saber fang and he is attacked with the magical set the reason why it does physical damage over there physical damage and that is also a specific monster hunt set of heroes it's a different set of heroes than the ones we're currently using on queen bee over here i'm going to show you but i'm not going to hit 
I have to wait for this lot to come back though. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's take the time also to look. There you can see a very similar kind of thing. That's your rare item that you'd very much like to get. This jewel is very nice um, if you get it. Um, and obviously it doesn't do much while it's green. You're going to fuse it and make it bigger. But you need the materials and you're getting it off your monster. So monster hunt, hugely important. And the gems are especially important. Good guild will hunt monsters. And it will hunt over 200 monsters a day, preferably, um, and ideally more. Some guilds are very against hunting level 1 monsters. They only want you to hunt level 2. And the argument is that you get big, more gems from level 2 monsters. But, 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 you're also using a lot more energy on them. So I don't actually think that they necessarily... Um, that economical way of getting more gems... And also you do get good resources out of level 1s. But yeah, it depends on the guild. Um, it, I think the main reason to me why one might consider saying don't hunt um, level 1s is because you can easily get over 300 gifts a day uh, if everyone's doing that. And yeah, that is, that is going to mean you have to clear gifts more regularly or else lose out. There is your magical monster hunt set for Saber Fang. And you know that you're going to be using that set on Saber Fang because when you click in uh, information, it says this monster does physical attack. So you use your magical heroes. Magical heroes are the ones you usually upgrade after doing your physical heroes. They're generally more important. So, okay, but let's see what we got out of that. I got a 10 minute speed, two of them. Oh well, yeah, the speed's always with something, isn't it? So, you know, we're just going to carry on and we're going to make sure that monster is dead because there will be no guild reward if I do not kill that monster. Most guilds are very, very against what they call energy dumping, which is where you basically just hit all your energy out on a high level monster, uh, don't even come near killing it, and then either expect the guild to finish it or just sort of wander off and don't tell anybody about it. Because that means you've used all your energy, you've got rewards for yourself, but you haven't provided any rewards for the guild. And given how much you collect every day out of guild gifts, it's only fair that you should hunt and kill monsters so that your guild gets something in return. You cannot even hunt monsters if you're not in a guild. So, you know... Your guild makes it possible for you to hunt monsters. Your guild gives you guild gifts. It's only fair to make sure that you give something back. Um, some guilds track monster hunt using a bot. We do. We get a report. And uh, we know who's hunting and who isn't hunting. Some guilds are very, very strict about it. And they will kick you if you don't hunt. Um, myself, I, you know, I, I will excuse the occasional day when somebody doesn't have time to hunt monsters but if it if it's a habit then that is not on you don't uh, you don't make a habit of not hunting monsters and then just scoop gifts every day collect gifts and never contribute it doesn't work so yeah we're on a bit of a we're on a bit of a campaign to make sure that people do hunt monsters and to identify the people who don't frequently don't hunt monsters but yeah some guilds are, are incredibly strict you know a day or two that you 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 don't hunt in the month or whatever and you're out um some guilds set a weekly target um, how many level twos how many level ones whatever i'm inclined to say i'm not going to tell people how to use their energy but the point is that they must use their energy productively which means that they must hunt number one and they must kill monsters so that the guild gets gifts number two what they choose to hunt level one level two level three it's up to them. I don't really like level fours because they use a heck of a lot of energy and you only get one gift out of that. So I'm not overly keen on level fours. I'm inclined to say you hit a level four, you're doing it purely for yourself. You, you're giving yourself a little treat. Um, and to a certain extent, level threes as well. Although once you've got your tier four familiars, you get, um, you get a, a familiar boost on hunting. That makes hunting a level 3 quite economical. You can kill it and then still have enough energy left over to kill two level 2s and maybe a couple of level 1s, small change. So, um, yeah, I, I accept level 3s. But level 2s are bread and butter. I don't object to level 1s. Level 4s, you're spoiling yourself. Uh, level 5s, oh, 
almost well, I'm not going to say they're impossible to kill people do kill them but um they're not uh, they're not really a viable thing to hold, hunt as a rule so you basically with an account like this little one hunting level ones and level twos depending on what you can find at a reasonable distance from your castle as you can see this is 38 miles and it's taking 31 more than 30 seconds to march there which is a little bit annoying and I'm going to take a little bit of time but you're going to be doing this essentially twice a day uh, if you do it once a day it's okay but um, ideally twice a day because your energy is going to recover as you can see it's now nine hours until my energy will recover i'm going to probably need another hit on this uh, level two monster the guys are uh, the the monsters are far away at the moment so i'm probably just going to finish this monster and then rest until more monsters appear new monsters appear you can see over here 44 minutes until new monsters appear you can see it there on the left um, and they appear at specific times every day i think it's every three hours that all the monsters disappear so also please be careful i mean you know if this monster times out while i'm hunting it i don't get the kill so <laughs> yeah I, we all do it at some point hunt a monster and um, we don't notice the time that's left on it and we lose the monster because it timed out but that is also another thing to bear in mind so yeah those are your monsters and this is your hunt whenever you see a monster that says it does physical damage you will send the magical set if you are hunting a monster that says it does m magical damage you are using the physical damage set and you do get just for confusion some things that say physical and magical and for that you use your physical set again of the monsters that you're using your magical hunt on you know, in other words ones doing physical damage the only exception to the hero set that i showed you is gargantua and in that case you're going to replace sage of storms with bunny the little pink bunny that you see up there in the top corner and we've got a dead monster and you can see if you go here to the gifts you will see that soft tomato killed an uncommon queen bee something to do for yourself something to do for your guild something to do every day one of the things about this game it's not a game that you play and then don't play for days on end you're going to take a break you need to let your guild know and oh, i'm offline for three days or whatever because otherwise they're going to be going oh you're inactive Okie dokes, that's it. Hunt monsters.